subscribe, like, comment, and hit the notification bell. Good morning, friends. How are y'all? Happy Monday. I am back with another What I Eat in a Day. And if you're new here, welcome. My name is Brandy. And if you're returning, I highly appreciate you. But I followed the WW plan half for quite some time. But I am set to maintenance, so I get 30 points a day. So, yesterday was Sunday, obviously, since I said today's Monday. And I did meal prep some breakfast. I had been having, for the last couple weeks, zero point egg muffins. And after two weeks, I did kind of get tired of it. So, I went back to breakfast sandwiches. So, yesterday, I pre prepped and I recorded it. So I'll insert the footage now and just, I'm going to grab the one I heated up out of the air fryer. So let me show, insert, so I'll insert the footage of how I made my breakfast. So I just used these already cooked turkey sausage and I actually cut them in half. So that's four sausages you're seeing there. And then I just did one egg in these egg rounds. I love using these for breakfast sandwiches so it holds its shape. And you have to wait till they're almost cooked through before you flip them. And then English muffin, and I made my variety with different types of cheese. And my coffee today is gonna be the same as always. Unsweetened vanilla almond milk, about a quarter to a third of a cup, which is not even a point. Um, I just do that for extra creaminess, and I love the way almond milk tastes. Starbucks dark roast. And this is a bigger cup than normal because I'm actually going to be eating in the car today. And then my favorite friend's sugar-free creamer. I was so excited when I saw Walmart had this this weekend. Um, I went ahead and picked up two because uh, a sweet viewer told me you can freeze it. So this will be my coffee for, I do have to count a point for this creamer. So one point for my coffee. And this is how I heat the air, uh, the, my sandwich up in the air fryer. I do open it so this part doesn't get soggy. I like that part to be crispy. And so here's my sandwich. Four points for the English muffin. One for the half a piece of sausage since I filleted it. And um, I did like a half a piece of cheese. So that's going to be a six point sandwich plus my coffee. So seven points. It is already 1.30, but I'm not feeling very hungry, so I'm going to have some unsweetened apple sauce. This is zero points. A mandarin, and I'm going to finish off these pitos. I absolutely love these. They're like healthy Funyuns, and it's one point worth left because the whole bag, I think, is... Um, I divided the bag over five portions, so it ends up being one point. Yeah, so I just got home from work. And I still haven't eaten anything. I don't know what's going on. I I don't think I've ever skipped lunch while I'm at work, especially like, you know, when I didn't like go out to eat for a brunch or breakfast like super late. So I'm honestly just never got hungry. And so I'm like, why am I gonna eat? Let me let my dogs out. Anyhow, yeah, I'm not gonna eat if I'm not hungry. And I didn't have time to make anything for lunch this morning. So I was eating a TV dinner, which is higher points. I think that was also it. Had I had something low point, I probably would have went ahead and ate it, not being hungry. But I was like, I'd be damned if I'm going to spend 10 points on something I don't want, right? Asher, Asher Rio, you want to say hi? Say hi. Asher says, Hi, friends. Hi, friends. He just wants to be up on mama. He's a big love bug. Yes, he is. He's a love bug. Let's see. What's the garden doing? Not much. To be honest, I think it's like too hot. Oops. Yeah, it's getting hot, but I do still have some blooms. Um, blooming on my big tomato that's my heirloom tomato plant so I hope those bloom and then I still have a lot of green tomatoes on my regular and my little cherry tomato plant still doing really good as well I got a bell pepper plant got one growing this in the hell storm I don't think it's doing very well it's only giving me one bell pepper but I think it I don't know it's like coming up and it looks wilty it's not drinking properly because I water it every morning 
but I did plant some cucumbers, so hopefully I'll get some cucumbers here soon. All of my greens are not doing too well. They're bolting, and when they bolt, they're inedible. They're like, get real bitter. But I got a banana pepper there, and then this is some type of chilies. Um, I'm not sure what type, but even these leaves are like wilting up. It's just so hot right now that even though I'm watering in the morning, by the time I get home, they really need another drink. I may have to start watering twice a day. Right, Leo? See ya! See, I don't like the hot weather either. So Rio's hair is so long and usually the groomer comes here to the house, but it's like a hundred bucks. And my dog before him was blind and so I'd cut his hair myself. So I ordered some new clippers and we're gonna give it a go. Uh, I tested them, let me show you. Like he doesn't even really look any different. I just did a tiny bit, but look at all the hair. Isn't it crazy? I'm gonna try to pick it up. But he didn't mind at all, so after our workout, I'm going to try to be a groomer. Okay, friends, I am getting ready to work out. It's the final week of a four-week program I'm doing. And this program is only two days a week. And thank goodness, because like I said in my update video, life's been hectic, so it's been really hard for me just to get in two workouts a week. I've managed to get on the treadmill a few times, but not like I like. So I'm doing my best right now. And that's, I'm trying not to be too hard on myself for it. So that is it. I will say it is about almost, it's a quarter till six and I'm finally starting to get hungry. I don't know what not getting hungry is about because that is not me. I'm not one to skip a meal. And when I realized I wasn't gonna eat at lunch, I thought about like scrapping the video because I was like, Really don't have that much to share. You know, I'm showing clips of breakfast and then actually dinner's also leftovers, but I did film preparing it because it's like a really good meal and super low points. Well, low points for, for me, you know. Um, I know different people consider super low different, but it's like you can get it as low as five points. But so I didn't want to scrap today, but if you watch my widow eating a days, you will know I have never skipped lunch. Like my coworker asked me, he was like, are you okay? You're, you usually get hangry and I'm just not hungry, but it is starting to kick in right now. So luckily this workout is only like, um, I think like 30 minutes. So I'm going to hop to it and we do four moves. It's only two blocks, two moves, and then two moves again. So that's easy. And I'm going to lift without shoes on the day. So you saw, took off my shoes. And I'll record a little bit. Just I'll record the four different moves so you can see what I'm getting into today.
Are you going? You got a bottle? Look at the camera. That was definitely a hard one. It took me way longer than it should have. Oh wow, 75 weeks straight. Whew. Come to my, so I did, oh, I always forget. I did over 13,000. Ooh, that may be my most ever. I don't know, maybe 14 was. It didn't give me a badge, so probably not. So I just finished my dinner and obviously now I'm really hungry. So yeah, now I'm really hungry and I'm gonna heat up dinner. I actually prepared dinner yesterday and it's another casserole, but I did film it. So while I eat this bear belt and I'm only gonna have half, the whole bar is six points. I think half is only three if Weight Watchers math doesn't get crazy, but I'm gonna assume uh, three points is half. But obviously if there's a change, I'll put it up on the screen. I always only eat about half of these. I'm not a huge, huge sweet person, so that does it. But I'm going for something sweet because I want the protein. So um, anyhow, I'm gonna have this while I heat up my dinner, but while my dinner is heating, I'm gonna cut to the footage and show you how it's made. It's a really good recipe that's been in my family for a really long time, so let's check it out. So this casserole my family calls one meal veggie deal and it starts off with some lean ground beef at least two pounds worth you can also use ground turkey or ground chicken however I do highly prefer, prefer the ground beef and you add one packet of Lipton onion soup mix and then to that you also add a uh, ranch seasoning if you have just the individual packets just add one can pack it but i have a big tub which if you can see me shaking it it's gotten um hardened so i won't buy that again i clearly am not using it quick enough but once all your seasonings in there and your salt and pepper you just want to go ahead and take your hands and really work it all together and then once you got it really well mixed Flatten it out into the bottom of your Dutch oven, or you really need a deep pot on this one. So you basically just push the hamburger meat into the bottom to make a nice thin layer. Um, once you get it there, you'll know it's good. Just do your best. It doesn't have to be perfect, but this is why you need quite a bit of meat. But we're making six servings, if not more, so no worries there. And then you just take a few russet potatoes. I'm using, it looks like three, four, five small ones and cut them about a quarter inch thick. And then once you have them cut, you just go around a circle and you layer them on up on top of your meat. Just do the best you can to make them all fit. And once you finish, it will look like this. Ta-da! <laughs> But anyhow, and then you're going to take carrots. And these carrots are all from my dad's garden. That's why they're on the smaller size. But you just take some carrots and you chop them up about the same thickness, just like quarter inch rounds or so. You want everything to cook. So about yay thickness. You want it all to cook at the same time. I personally add a lot of carrots. I really like that flavor. So if you don't, you can leave them out. But I highly recommend the more carrots, the better. And then you add an onion. You can add a white onion or a yellow onion, any type you prefer. But just dice it up, or actually I did it in little slices. That's typically what I do. Sprinkle that on top of your carrot. It'll cook down nicely. And then one small head of cabbage is what you'll need. And I'm just cutting out the core and then cutting it into little bite-sized pieces. And then you'll layer that on top of everything else. This dish is so easy and so filling and fairly cheap to make besides the hamburger meat. But you do get a lot of portions. And so then on top of this, I'm going to add more salt and pepper for sure. And uh, let's see. You can spray it with olive oil spray if you like, but I didn't. So, you know, we can cut down on the points there. My family also puts dollops of butter, but I forewent that step. You just cover it, and I'm going to bake it in a 400-degree oven for about an hour, but about every about 
excuse me, about at 40 minutes, I start checking my vegetables to make sure the potatoes and carrots get tender. But this one turned out really great. This is what it looks like after it's done in the oven for an hour. Yummy. You can see all those vegetables really cooked down. But this gave us six servings, maybe seven. I can't quite remember. So all in all, it comes to seven points. Five for the meat and two for the potatoes. And that's it. My husband's laughing at me. So I am going to end the night with one of my many favorite day ice cream sandwiches. I buy these at Target. I absolutely love them. Um, it's only like 90 calories each, but Weight Watchers charges you five points. So not very bang, good bang for your buck, but I have a lot of points today. I actually ended up having 24 points. So I still have six left. Like I said, I'm on maintenance, so I do get 30 a day. But ending with 26. Good night, friends. Bye. Thank you.